Hey Tightliners, it's Brian Smith here, reporter for the Peninsula Clarion with your Tightlines Fishing Report for August 23rd. Well this weekend I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you. First the bad. As you can see, silver fishing remains a little bit slow right now, as fishermen would do well to catch one or two for a day on the water. It's either just a slow start to the run, or maybe a bad run in general. Fishing game just really isn't sure yet. But that means there's more opportunity to experiment this weekend. So instead of using eggs or fishing Vibrax in your usual manner, try swinging a few flies this weekend at your favorite spots. Silvers love the hot colors. Pinks, oranges, chartreuses, tinsels, pretty much anything that looks like it came out of a Disney movie. Try to swing your fly into the deep pools and eddies where silvers might be holding. I've heard from several fishermen that you'll have to wade through quite a few pinks as the lower river is just simply thick with them. That's okay. Fish is a fish, right? Well, the good news is right now, rainbow trout and dolly varden fishing remains hot. Try the middle river, upper sections near the access points on the highway, or if you want a bit of a walk, try Quartz Creek or the Russian River. The Russian recently opened from a fly fishing only to regular fishing in the upper river rules. Right now, the bead bite is on. The best way to fish is to buy beads in a variety and experiment with what they're biting on. If you find an area where the water is calm, see if any bugs are flying around. If so, try some a dry fly. You might be surprised on what they'll hit on. And with that, I'll let you get to it. Keep calm and fish on.